And then we could go down to the Dallas Cowboys, Greeny. I think the Cowboys are going to sit here in training camp and go, uh-oh, we overestimated our perimeter players, mainly our wide receivers. Last year in the playoff game, Dak Prescott was 13 of 26 throwing to wide receivers. That was with Amari Cooper. He is no longer there. Their number one, CeeDee Lamb, has drop issues. The number two, Michael Gallup, has coming off of the ACL surgery. He's going to miss at least three or four games. And the number three, Jalen Tolbert, who they drafted in the third round from South Alabama, didn't get to do a lot in, in the uh, springtime because of injury to his hamstring. I think this football team is going to look back and go, we're not as good on the perimeter as we thought we were. Well, that's a really interesting thought there. And, and Booger, let me come to you on that, because as we look at the Cowboys, uh, they were really ready to go last year. It felt like last year was the confluence of circumstances, in particular in the division, that was their shot. And, and to Dan's point, they let it get away in that terrible playoff loss to San Francisco. Do you share his concern about what they bring back this year from an offensive weapon standpoint? Yeah, Greedy, there's always going to be some, some concern when you have to project on what people are going to do with Michael Gallup and, and Schultz and the offensive line and Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, has he really gotten in shape? But here's what I go by, Greeny, is this, is that I remember sitting in Tampa and watching the Cowboys and Buccaneers play here in Tampa last year. And Dak Prescott was the best player on the field. I mean, and, and that was with Brady and all the other guys. Dak Prescott was the best guy on that field that night. And I remember coming on and watching television the next day, and you were like, that guy right there, Dak Prescott, he was awesome, and he deserves to be in the MVP conversation. But what happened, Green, is throughout the season, I don't know whether it was the calf injury or whether something else got in his mind, he didn't play the same. He didn't use his athleticism to be elusive and to make plays the way we've seen Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes make. I think we're going to see that Dak Prescott we saw in the opener more this year. Yeah, Danny, there are some concerns with the weapons, especially when guys are unproven. But I know who is proven. And I think Dak Prescott is one of the best quarterbacks in football. And we spend a lot of time trashing that young man's name. He's going to show a lot of people this year that the guy we saw in the opener last year, we're going to see him more consistently. I, I think that's that's really the big question. I, I would phrase it as questioning it rather than trashing it. Can he do it consistently? Let's see, because you're right. That opening night, that's opening right. Thursday that you're talking about. Let me get Diana in here quickly. Diana, wh what are your expectations from the Cowboys from an offensive standpoint? Well, let's just start with I had a conversation with Dak Prescott about his mentality going into the season compared to what we saw last year. And, look, last year he couldn't really divulge that he was dealing with some mental setbacks dealing with that injury, that his offseason wasn't focused on the actual act of quarterbacking. It was rehabbing mixed with some football, right? So think about this now. He's yeah. had an offseason where all he's doing is playing quarterback, right? All in from the head, in his head, physic, his physical makeup of it all. It's all just about playing the game of football. So already there is a weight off his shoulders. Tony Romo recently also shared that he truly believes that this Dallas offense is going to try to kind of go back to what they did in 2016, 2017. That was when Zeke really took off as their number one back. Is Zeke the same guy? No. But they've got Tony Pollard now as another weapon there that they can use both of them. So while I do think you see the headline, no more Amari Cooper, and it seems like they lost a lot of weapons when you really dig deep here they didn't really lose that much Dak just needs to be the guy this year Dan give me a quick final thought Danny I think Dak needs to be a lot more than the guy this is a football team that lost Cedric Wilson Amari Cooper Lyle Collins and Connor Williams offensively he's gonna have to and I'll use Charles Barkley's line when he talked about it with Kevin Durant this year he's gonna have to be the bus driver and I don't know if we've – you know what? I do. We have not seen him be the bus driver at the biggest moments in the toughest games when they matter the most. For them to go to the NFC title game, he got to be that guy. I agree with that. It, it's a question. We'll see what the answer comes back. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.